And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Monday the 26th of June 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, US equity markets closed the week lower as major indices paused for the week overall. S&P 500 was down around 1% for the week, but context is still very much upwards. Slight retracement after what has been a significant run to the upside over the last weeks. US futures are positive in Asian session and Asian markets are mixed in today's trading. ASX is the underperformer down about 0.3%. The Nikkei is to the upside and looks very interesting. European futures are pointing to a mildly positive open. The VIX is still trading near lows not seen for over three years. US dollar index was strong on Friday, but some softness today in Asia. Gold is trading at mid-March levels, recovered a little bit, and again, slightly higher this morning. Copper didn't have a great day on Friday, dropped beneath the 200 EMA, but recovered a little in Asia so far. Be interesting to see where that goes next. And all bounced off the bottom of a short-term range on news regarding the Ukrainian conflict. In the crypto space, Bitcoin looks strong and is testing that 31,000 resistance. Still looks as though there's some buying pressure coming into that subsequent to the, that ETF news last week. Very quiet on the data front today. We've only got German business climate of any note. Really, the week is going to be geared towards the PCE data, which comes out on Friday out of the US, which, of course, is one of the Fed's favorite data points. And a softer number, of course, would play into the narrative of continued pause and interest rate rises. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that are caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start in the FX market with the Canadian dollar yen. You can see here we've pushed up to just underneath 109. You can see the significance of this level, particularly if we put it on a line chart, as this was resistance towards the back end of 2022 from mid-September through to early November. So you can see we've pushed right back up there. Uh, should we get a break, then logically we, we would expect it possibly to move up that 100 pips to 1.0106. If we look at the price action today, uh, you can see there, this was Friday's close, and really this morning has tested this level consistently after the first couple of hours of trading. So look set for that move higher, and one certainly to keep an eye on throughout the day. With the ASX generally down today, we did struggle a little bit to find one that we really like, but we do like GNC, who did bounce off a support level at 7.30. You can see that the next level of interest here, if we look historically, is at this 7.58 level. That corresponds to where we are now and where the 200 EMA is sitting. So a little patience required until it breaches that 200 EMA, but we could see it up perhaps around about 8%, up to this 8.30 level in the medium term trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now